Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to my college digs. Uh, <laughs> I'm here, and uh, hopefully no one will, will think it's weird that I'm in here talking to myself. You know, my roommates won't think that's weird. Fingers crossed. Alright, so, let's get on to the review. This is Carry On Mr. Bowditch by uh, Jean Lee Latham. This is the 1956 Newbery Award winner. Um, Jean Lee Latham is known for doing lots of children's biographies, but this is the only really enduring one uh, that she has ever had. It's a, a, a biography about this guy named Nathaniel Bowditch who uh, was a very important mathematician in the early, well, no, late 1700s, early 1800s. He was American, so he, it was right after the Revolutionary War. And um, he was just a brilliant guy. Um, he didn't have any formal schooling of any kind, of, like, Basically, he got taken out when he was 12 because he was like part of a really poor family. But all of the people in his family had been or were in some way um, captains or, or people. They they worked. They were sailors. They all worked in the shipping ships, and you know, anyway. <laughs> and so um, he actually that was not his skill. His skill was math. He loved math when he was a little little tiny boy. Um, and so he grew up uh, just loving math, and so instead of going off to sea like everybody else, he went to like this Chandlery place or something. And he, he got a job. He was in he was indentured for I think it was nine years that he was, uh, that, meaning that he couldn't leave this certain job, and he wasn't really paid anyway. Um, so he did that until he was 21, and he started, he just loved math, and he started figuring out how to do things better than, like, the navigational stuff better, and how to explain it to the people around him. Um, so this book, I remember really, really liking it. I read this when I was 12. I remember loving it. <laughs> See, the deal is, the more I think about what I should talk about this book, the less substance I, I feel there is to talk about. Um, he has a lot of hardships, yes, that Nathaniel has to overcome, but, like, they're not really that big of a deal. I mean, he was indentured. I'm sure there are a lot of kids who are indentured. I mean, it's cool that he figured out how, like, he self-taught himself. That's amazing. Good good for Nathaniel Bowditch. I'm just not sure how that, that that's supposed to be exciting for us as readers. Um, there's also a lot of death. A lot of people die in this book. And, and it's just kind of sad. They just, like, Again and again, people going on the chopping block, and you're like, Whoa. and then there's this like weird romance that he has with like this girl who's seven years younger than him, and that you know, but he's like 24 and she's like 17, which is really weird. That's two completely different. I guess maybe not in the 1700s, but uh, so. Those are the two things I don't like, but but yet this is a biography. Like, this stuff actually happened, therefore I can't really fault the writer for making it happen. So I'm at this weird, this weird place where I'm like, the book was fine. It was fine. Um... It was it was cool to read about this guy. It was kind of uplifting to be like, yeah, yeah, look at all the things he accomplished with very little, 
Um, he he continued on and and lived his his dream of of being the best mathematician in all the United States. That's awesome. But it's just not. I mean, I read it and I didn't hate it while I was reading it, but I didn't love it either. And now that I'm done, I'm just like, it was a book. It was a book, and it was it was fairly interesting. I was glad that I I got to know who this person was, but. You know, I could have done that on his Wikipedia page. <sighs> so, I I would really like if if you guys have read this recently. Obviously, time taints these things. <laughs> if you guys have read Carry On, Mister Bowditch recently, can you let me know what you thought of it? Because I I'm just very confused. I I thought this was a really good book, and, and like I said, I didn't hate it. It's not a bad book. It's just a very, it's just there for me. I, I'm not getting amazing vibes off of it. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, here, I'm not going to bother turning on the music again. There, you can just read it. Three out of five stars, tin it up, very historical. You know, it's a good, it's probably a good read for school, but for fun, it didn't didn't make me excited. So there we go. Please, if you've read it recently and you understand this more than I do, please let me know. I would love to hear your opinion on it. I am already reading the next book, which I'm very excited about because I know I love this one. I've read it at least twice. <laughs> In the truck factory! Ah! Sorry. It makes me happy. Alright. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye!